we are going to get battered against AC Milan. I have no confidence. I don't see a chance of us winning against AC Milan. That's just why I think we're going to lose. Because if you compare their recent form to our recent form, it, nah, it's just... You might as well just postpone this game and give them the free, give them the the three nil forfeit. In 2018, I think we've lost we've lost about eight times. So I'm not gonna be surprised if Thursday will be our ninth. My score prediction for the game: three nil AC Milan. Because you you even think we're even gonna have a chance to score? <laughs> So yeah, Arsenal have finally won a game, finally after so long, after bad results against Brighton, like all those other teams. We came, we went to the San Siro and we actually done the job to find all critics, to find all odds. We uh, The odds were stacked against us this game. Everyone was saying that we are going to lose, including myself. In my preview, I said that we are going to get absolutely destroyed 3-0. 3-0 AC man. I said that we are going to go to the San Siro and get embarrassed. But what did we do? We actually performed. And it actually, it feels so good to just say to myself, that we have won a, a game like literally first leg of the Europa League obviously Arsenal versus AC Milan. I was I was not confident at all going into this game. I I literally thought we were gonna get absolutely skinned alive, skinned alive. But it was classic Arsenal like when we're under the pressure, when when we are underdogs, it's just classic for us to just actually come away with that win. And now. On to the second leg, we've got a big advantage now. Uh, we've got the two away goals. Do I think do I think we can run away with this tie? Yeah, we can. We because all we need to do is just go to the Emirates and just just defend basically. Just make sure that they don't score, they don't get more than three goals. Because if they do, that means we will go out. Which is kind of the disadvantage, knowing that this is only the first leg. There's still a second leg to come. So I think that everyone just needs to just like, you know, like just calm down, just wait until next week, see what happens, and then that's where we can make like our full judgment, our full analogy of like if we can win this Europa League and just how we generally performed in the time. So yeah, in terms of the actual the game itself, the performance, brilliant. Probably one of the best performances I've seen in a long time, especially against an AC Milan an AC Milan side, judging by their form, they are fantastic. Before today, 13 games um, unbeaten, not conceded a goal in about in about 400 sight minutes. I've only conceded like three goals in 10 games. And for their, for us to put two past them at the San Siro is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of the boys today. So proud that we managed to actually like just go into the mindset knowing that this is a big game and the players they players they knew the importance of this game they know the importance of this competition knowing that this will that the Europa League is our only our only chance of getting the top four so it's good that the players knew and the manager knew that this was important both of the goals as you saw in the intro amazing goals absolutely amazing goals Messer Ozil, bruv, get, getting those both assists. All I'm going to say is, when Messer Ozil is at his best, hands down, best playmaker in the world, best playmaker in the world, when he's at his best, and that is no joke, no one can disagree, no one can disagree, no one can at me on that. No one can at me on that. Yeah, you can say you're Kevin De Bruyne and such and such, but no, when Messer Ozil is at his best, he is the best in the world. And Mkhitaryan today, he was fantastic. Well bet today. He was fantastic, but had a couple moments where he should have put away a couple chances when he went one-on-one -on -one with Donnarumma, I believe, in the second half. Oh, 
where he should have scored. Mkhitaryan also should have scored. He unfortunately hit the crossbar from, I think it was Mesut Ozil again, which was just a beautiful pass. Best playmaker in the world. I, I don't care what no one says, best playmaker in the world. And yeah, opening five, five or so minutes, we the pressure was on us. Like, it, it was pretty hard to actually ease into the game. But then when we eased into it, it was, it was just vintage Arsenal, to be honest. To be fair though, it was a poor AC Milan side, but you can't take that away from us, man. You really can't because ending the team's 13 on 13 game on beat and run at the San Siro and everything, especially in the form that Arsenal in like the form we were in before this game. Absolutely crap bruv. Eight eight losses in 2018, three away victories, three away victories in this whole season it just says it all our form is pretty shit so for us to actually come away with it whether AC Milan, AC Milan played bad or played good I don't care I don't want to hear none of that shit honestly we won the game we deserve the credit and then now it's just on to the second leg and yeah we just need to just build this momentum up into the second leg and hopefully hopefully we actually get through to this time so yeah and f furthermore that come on we may be our season is pretty bleak like we have been pretty shit this season but come on we are not that shit to throw away a two a two goal lead going into to the second leg especially at home i just don't see it happening even though we are absolutely dreadful when it comes when it comes to games like this I just can't see it happening. I can't see us bottling it that badly. So yeah, I am fairly confident going into this second leg. Now that we have, because originally I said that we should we should go into this game knowing that we can go into the second leg, be still being in the tie. As in, even if we lose, we still have like an away goal or like like we haven't lost that badly. If you, if you get what I mean. And we actually won, so that's just that's just excellent, and it? it's just absolutely excellent. Not what I expected, not what not what anybody expected of Arsenal to do. And yeah, I'm absolutely gassed. I can't. You don't even understand. I'm so gassed. I'm so happy for this team. So proud. And yeah, um, obviously, make sure you're liking. You make sure you've liked this video. Make sure you subscribed. Make sure you. Go view some previous videos. Make sure you tune in for more. And yeah, see you lots in the second leg.